All right, so yeah, you know last time well I had to redo all that but last time you know we got to learn a bit more about Paulette and um, Reina sorry I forgot her name for a minute, but yeah Paulette and Reina learned we got to learn a bit more about them and a little bit about um, Paulette's struggles as well, unfortunately. All those people just freaking berating her and all that. And then, of course, we had the red is red conversation. Because <laughs> freaking Abiki. <laughs> and yeah, now we're going to the bath. So, uh, fup, yes, let's go. Um, <clears throat> bath scene hype. Also, say this again, Sotetsu. Oh. Thank you. This is quite nice. It was definitely built prior to the war. Possibly Taisho, or maybe even Meiji. This place is supposed to have an abundance of hot spring water, but everything here seems to have dried up. <laughs> nice, let's get in. That outfit is still amazing, by the way. <laughs> She turns red again and looks down. Red is red! Ibiki seems to take that compliment for herself. Or perhaps this place is one of her favorites. Good job, Ibiki, good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She cuts the conversation short as if she's hiding something. And Vicky passes through the female bath door. I mean, obviously. I'm going to the male bath. We go separate ways. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Hachiroku. Uh-oh. Hibiki's cheeks are puffed up. Her eyes appear to be getting teary, too. Oh, no, it's okay. Oh, shit. Oh, it's okay. Your, your sprite's too far up. See, I can't give you head pounds. Darn it. She's not happy about this. Not in the slightest. And she doesn't know how to express that discontent. This part of her is still the same. <laughs> I crouch down to meet her eye to eye. We're close enough for our noses to touch. Hibiki <laughs> jumps back. <laughs> but thanks to the but thanks to this fluke, Hibiki decides to be forthcoming with her feelings. <laughs> Listen, it's fine, all right? <laughs> yes. Hibiki nods. Hachiroku gently continues after that. <laughs> no honorifics, just like Ibiki requested. Her tiny mouth whispers something in Ibiki's ears. Fair point. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder what Hachiroku said. Vicky gives a big nod. Okay. <laughs> Why? The moment I question that, I find the answer. <laughs>。<laughs> Oh. Okay, well, first of all, sorry, Sotetsu, one sec. Didn't mean to do that. Here you go. 
And second of all, hello? Uh, Ibiki isn't surprised by the sudden voice from behind. She even appears happy to hear it. Lady of Toru, huh? The Toru Hot Spring. And that means this old lady is the owner. Like the building, she's the weathered in season. She's weathered in season. Biki called her a lady, but I call her a grandma. Uh, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm surprised how much more maturely she speaks than when she's with me. <laughs> That's because it's us. <laughs> she smoothly explains that I am her brother, a total departure from the usual Hibiki I know. <laughs> Pure and in innocence. That's what's inside, okay? I straighten my posture when I hear the Mikita name being mentioned. If she's seeing me as that, I have to be worried of how I act. She doesn't return the she doesn't return the introduction. The owner of the Toru Hot Springs just waves at us dismissively. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least you'll still let us in in general. That's good. I look at the sign at the entrance. The closing time is 11 at night. Wait. But. What? Okay, she means she'll, she'll give us. I guess. Okay. <laughs> For a minute, I thought she was like being backhanded about it. <laughs> a men's bath and a woman's bath. Hibiki, Hachiroku, and me. While I'm still wondering what to do, the owner just points at the woman's bath. Uh. Well, wait, what? It's reserved for her? Dang, what the fuck? <laughs> you already know. You already know. <laughs> After pouring the bath water myself, I have Hachiroku wash me down. I fall asleep by watching myself afterward meticulously. Even after doing so, black flecks keep floating down to the surface, but bathing here feels like all my tension is melting away. It's Hachiroku. She's using Hibiki's stretched legs as a chair and is currently in the tub. I like how Hibiki has her twin tails. It's even better. <clears throat> Hibiki's at the other side of the bath in a corner away from me. Naturally, Hachiroku's there, too. I try to speak louder. しかし、心地よい疲れでもある。明日の朝の筋肉痛はひどそうだがな。でしたら、湯上がりには体を重みになるといいです。翌朝の疲れの抜け方がまるで違いますから。Oh she stands up. Hachiroku walks along the side of the tub and slowly comes toward me. <laughs> oh, um, ahem, my rear. Oh, she means my back. Oh, <laughs> I turn my back toward Hachiroku as she requests. <laughs> you can massage me too, I don't mind. She must have pressed the pressure point. My body jerks with every push. Oh, 
My Tetsu out of context. <laughs> she stretches my arm to massage it. <laughs> More out of context. <laughs> Also, Hibiki's face, oh my god. <laughs> Her reactions are the best. Her reactions are freaking amazing, dude. I love it every time. Just, I love it every time. <laughs> Who is this voice actress? She's amazing. <laughs> She's freaking amazing. I love it. Hibiki yells at us from the other side of the big tub. Possibly from having to paint so much, she is a little nearsighted, and with this team, she probably can't see what we're doing. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, Hibiki! Well, dang. <laughs> 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 Perfect. <laughs> Just talk about a regular massage, Vicky. <laughs> what does age have to do with anything when it comes to massaging your arm? Do <laughs> 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 I carefully choose my words so I don't say adoptive. <laughs> she clears her throat. Ibiki then slowly picks her words as if informing me of something. That's exactly why she means. <laughs> I suppose that's how it is. Being twins, Michi Michiko and I were inseparable, even in the bath. Oh, she was our twin sister? Huh. <laughs> Whoops. I said what was on my mind without filtering it. I do that all the time. Ibiki's smart about these things. She must have understood what I meant from her gas. <laughs> It's because you're a doll, shush. <laughs> Hachiroko announces it. She clears out the awkward silence. I take advantage of this. Probably. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Hmm. When Hachiroka was still working, she must have been on a steam locomotive. But there should have been a lot more engineers and railroads back then. Uh, hey, hey, hey. hey, Hachiroku, shush! Shush, my little sister's right there, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Even though I, even I can't answer this obvious mystery. <laughs> so her previous owner was was um a woman. That's interesting. A splash. If Vicky comes closer. Were they like drafted or something? The war. She means the world war. Hachiroka was around during that time. Dang, you old! She closes her eyes, deep in thought. Hachiroku giggles a little, remembering her past.
お相手が相鉄様でよかったです。サイム。そうか。<笑>あの、相鉄様 She looks up to me from below. <laughs> What is wrong? Hibiki comes closer with big strides while splashing, in, while splashing around in the water. Lol. <laughs> Do you want to massage me too? Because I don't mind. Hibiki takes a deep breath. She quietly and slowly chooses her wards. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You're, you're still winning. Who was losing to what and why? I'd be confused to say anymore, and I have no idea what she meant. What I do understand, though, is that through her words and attitude, she has a strong will. Don't have to ask me t w i c e Go ahead and do it right now. Fuck yes, let's go. To be honest, Hachiroku's too small and take too long. I wouldn't feel refreshed at all. Yeah, that's why I want it to happen. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> the moment I stand up, Hibiki covers her face and jumps back into the bath. <laughs> I thought she just splashed me. I don't understand her. Hachiroku giggles as if she knows exactly why. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Perhaps she heard Hachiroku's voice. Hibiki's nodding with her eyes closed, still submerged. That's right. She just told me she was embarrassed because we were siblings of age. <laughs> I covered my front as I stand up. After getting, after getting out of the bath, I hear a splash behind me. Hibiki. <laughs> Hello? Mm. Ah! I was cheated! Did I? I do have the patches installed, right? Shit, my sink only have one of them installed. <laughs> I'll have to check that. Wait, hold on a minute. Oh, fuck, that's not what I meant to do? No, no, that's auto mode. Ship. I wanted to check that. Alright, so yeah. Sorry about that. But yeah, I guess I didn't miss anything. Cause, uh, yeah, I installed the H patch and all the extra stuff I needed to install just to see if there was, you know, a, mi a missing bath scene there and there wasn't, so. Darn it. But, but yeah. Listen, don't judge me. I wanted to know. But yeah, so yeah, I installed everything too now, so. Yeah, now, all that's there now, in case you're wondering. But yeah, there was, there was nothing extra. It still just faded to the scene. So, uh, yeah, I was really abrupt. It was like such an abrupt transition. That was really weird. That's why I was wondering. It was just like so abrupt. It was like, okay, I'll cover my front. Go and watch my back now. It's like, and then it's like, oh, okay, and then it just like really abruptly transitions over here. Yeah. All right. After cleaning up and eating dinner at home, I suddenly grow drowsy, but I still have much to do. First, I need to lay out the futon. <laughs> What you mean? That sounds cleaned up to me. What you talking about? <laughs> You're darn right, Amir, it's cleaned up. So Tetsu doesn't know what he's talking about. Hachiroku's tiny hands move about to neatly place the futon sheets. <laughs> Hibiki and Maka are in here in their own rooms. And now I'm alone with Hachiroku. I finally got I finally got in this opportunity. I'm not stupid enough to let it slip by me. Oh. oh the number. Oh. Hachiroku bows down, deeply affirming my suspicions. That's why I try to stay calm as I hear the words coming out of Hachiroku's mouth. That is a very interesting analogy you use. Hmm. 
Oh. That's not so much like siblings as it is twins. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. But, um, yeah, sorry, I think my computer might not be fup. <laughs> Michiko and I were like that. Oh, Michiko. We shared every part of our lives together. I saw it, she was. That's right, she was a twin, huh? Oh, dang. <laughs> so Tetsu was like on that, like dang. That's the only way. It goes without saying. But Hachiwoku just opens her eyes wide and looks as if lightning has just struck her. And if Hachiroku's senses still don't return, that would mean she's broken. If we do know that, then the next order of business is to get her, is to get her repaired. As long as we take the right steps, one by one, we'll find a solution. Red is red. During the time when I had lost my will to live, I still continued on with my life. That's why I know. I know that the sun will always come up. <laughs> what if I don't like the sun, though? <laughs> Supposing that we did find 8620, what does Hachiroku want to do after that? How much can I help fulfill Hachiroku's desires? The more I think about it, the heavier my mind and body weighs on me. Are we going to. S oh, okay. <laughs> I climb into the futon. Hachiroku follows me in an extremely reserved way. Oh, that's right. Hachiroku said she was a maiden. <laughs> I feel like she's gonna. <laughs> the moment I say that, Hachiroku gets up and shakes her head. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you're saying you want to, huh? I see. Nice. <laughs> Night, Hachiroku. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was about to read it, my bad. I almost forgot he was voice for a sec. There's nothing more to say. I close my eyes to let sleep or just what to let sleep overtake me. There we go. I don't know what I was about to say. Oh, hello? Is that Michiko? Uh rumble, 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 rumble. It's the sound. The sound of the train. Oh no, not to PTSD. Open my eyes to find out that I'm in the middle of a dream. No, the nightmares. Oh, jeez. I thought, I thought it was her. That's what she looked like, huh? Before she passed away. My sister Michiko is here. Exactly the way she was before the accident. However, she does not smile. Dude, that sucks. He like has this freaking nightmare where like he relives the accident, but like it was, like it goes so slow that it's like it's like it's like stretching out his freaking trauma, dude. I can't feel anything for my twin Michiko anymore. The moment of her death, she cut off all ties with me, so it wouldn't drag me down with her. Oh. But I did know. This train would be my last journey. With Michiko, father and mother. The scenery out the window doesn't change. No matter how much of it goes by, the same scenery comes again. The color of dusk is so monotone. A terribly lonely scenery. Oh, yeah? I don't know if I'm getting my message across. But Michiko wouldn't tell me. Not knowing something can be worrisome. 
助けられなかった分助けろとかバドルのレグレッツ brought my soul that would be, that would be much better whoever I did save will then in turn save me too 僕らは双子だ僕が誰かを助ければミチコが救われるかもしれないってそう思うからさあ Mother and father are on a train. Michiko remains on the train alone. That's why I want to send Michiko off to mother and father in peace. Rail Road, Demo, Giri no Kazoko Demo, Mishira no Hoka no Dare de Aroto, on Najisa. I will spare no effort for anyone in my circle I can reach. It's not like there is anything else I want to do. Nani ga se kai ka wa wakaru ne. Dore ga tsunagaru ka mo wakaru ne. Datta ra zenbu. Se kai to shinjite yaru shika nai nda. If I give up, that would kill Michiko. Not by an accident. I would be killing her with my own will. Oof. Jeez, man. That's a depressing thought. That's why I must stay alive. I have to stay alive and bring peace to Michiko. Yes, Lossus. Mm. Michiko. Michiko calls my name. Michiko holds her hand out to me. But those hands will never reach me. Because I will always wake up. Oh. Feels real bad, man. Oh, and she fades away. I can hear her voice. I cannot see her anymore. Soon, even her voice fades away. Oh, bye, Michiko. Well, that was really depressing. You just have that dream every night? Okay. The game just wanted to kill my soul right there, I guess. Goodness gracious. Oh, hello? Oh! Nisa! <laughs> <laughs> she has another outfit? Dude, that's awesome. I love all of her outfits. <laughs> um, no, I had a really bad dream last night. One night? I had a really traumatic dream last night. Like, I had the night terrors. Yeah. Uh, mm. There's no point in denying an obvious truth. Don't lie. And don't speak harshly, either. I carefully pick the right words. Oh, it's like me. <laughs> I stopped trying to lie a long time ago because I suck at it. <laughs> the sounds of crunching coal stop. If I said I were tired, Hachiroka may regret that we, what we did at the shulk- What? At the coal shoveling mine? I was about to say, shulk cobbling, what the fuck is wrong with me? If I say my tenderness is caused by something mental, Hibiko start overanalyzing things. That'd be hilarious though. <laughs> I partially forced myself to eat. As if she were following me to keep pace, Hachiroka resumes crunching coal. Mm. It might not just be because she grew up in a brewery, but Makarani and Ibiki both have much more perceptive tongues than me. Not once have I ever thought that the food on this dinner, on this dinner table tasted bad. Ooh, soup. I don't know what Daigo soup is, but I like soup. The moment I say that, Ibiki smiles brightly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was like the big... Sorry guys. That was like the biggest smile ever. What the fuck? Her smile was so huge. That was hilarious. Oh, that was great, dude. So that was like... Hmm. It's a nice taste. It's a nice taste. It's a nice taste. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. So try to make me fat, woman. What's wrong with you? Dago, angai hara ni tamaru. So taksan wa taberen sa. Dago? To wa nan desho? Osakana desu ka? 
Hachiroku's question brings us brings on a huge proud smile from Ibiki. I may be born in the capital, but I was partially raised in Oitoyo. I could think of the example right away when she asked. That was pretty good, actually, not gonna lie. The natives got the better of me. What? What? Nicotine and crocodile? Well, okay, maybe it doesn't sound too good after all. What the fuck? You feeding me, woman. Her perception toward food must be really different from humans. Hachiroku is being completely serious. <laughs> uh, the good old... Uh, uh, different things that don't <laughs> work in different languages. Which, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this before, before, but like I saw like in the settings, I actually have this option where you can like change like the language, like you can actually change it to Japanese and then give like English subtitles. That's neat. I just saw in the settings. I thought it was really cool that they did that. <laughs> Ibiki's smug face right now is great. The bowl is empty before I know it. Feeling depressed after that dream, my appetite is also depressed. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that reality was stronger than dreams. But if I say that out loud, Ibiki might send something for me again. After finishing the meal and conversation, Hachiroku naturally follows suit. Mm. Uh. Oh, hey, it's Big Sis. How you doing? Makarani's voice cuts in at the perfect time. Maybe she was waiting for us to finish eating. Ibiki stands up right away. Hachiroku also stands up to offer help with the dishes, but Ibiki stops her. Um, how would you? You're so tiny. Would you be able to reach the sink? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Polly's Paulette. <laughs> Polly. Yeah, it's definitely Paulette. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Makarani's footsteps are quiet. Makes sense of that sound, you see Biki running about to cool the dishes. Oh, come back! <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I can feel the tension in Hachiroku's voice. I tap her on the head to reassure her. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we got um, you know, we got to have that nice little bath, which was great. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I went through a bunch of extra strip for no reason apparently. So uh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I installed everything and didn't get to see. Any kind of bath scene. I was swindled! Darn it! Darn it, lose! Shame. <laughs> At least I got to see this awesome new outfit, though. <laughs> freaking polka dot die. <laughs> it's great. She has the best outfits. It's freaking awesome. But yeah, so yeah, next time, I guess we're gonna have this 
um, conversation continuing on from my last little talk with Paulette and all the and all the ships she has to go through, poor girl. And now, <laughs> Reina and Hachiroku here too now. <laughs> oh, Reina, I can't believe it. it's Alia's voice. But yeah, it should be fun now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can, you know, um, talk to her about what we wanted to earlier too. You know, get her to get those freaking... I'm trying not curse. Get those you know what to listen to her hopefully all right sorry about that guys um apparently i actually ended the video too early because it, it was only like 30 minutes so um yeah it's my bad but it was getting late so yeah so yeah i'm just putting the two videos together now so yeah sorry about the heck um oh yeah and yeah she said this mm. I'm look up tenders real quick. Steam locomotives like 8620 have what is called a tender car that contains coal and water needed to operate the steam engine. It is attached at the rear of the locomotive driver's stand. I oh, gotcha. Thanks, Hachiroku. Appreciate the exposition help. Arena and her maintenance body looks on. Paulette explains something to me with a deliberate tone. I can tell that she is serious, but none of what she says is making any sense to me. When I tell her that honestly, Paulette instantly becomes flustered. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just watching Fate Khalid earlier today, too. <laughs> A brief explanation to help me out. I think I understand what she's saying now. Oh. Sorry, I said to my bad helmet. There you go. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, the way Hachiroku matter-of-factly states that makes her seem all the sadder. Yeah, she does seem really sad. Did, did you know him? Considering she is a mayor, she knows the Migita family is one of the biggest taxpayers. That's what Paulette said. <laughs> I like how Abika was quiet that whole time and then she just now she just randomly starts to speak up. It was funny. Hibiki listening in with a blank stare interrupts to ask. <laughs> See, he acknowledged it. <laughs> Paulette looks at me as if to plead for help. I nod at her. Tadosan's reputation is already known to her. Oh. Oof. Well, dang. He was gracious. That's a good laugh again, big kick. Dude, I love Habiki so much. <laughs> after I was adopted into the Mikita family, Tatasan passed away and not too long after. After that, a huge number of debt collectors came crowding around the Mikita household. Oh dang. Being the adopted one, I was sitting on thorns. Jeez, that does suck. If Habiki and Makarini didn't defend me, I would have lost the Mikita name long ago. An extreme amount of debt. Shameless debt collectors. Demands upon demands from those who only seek to profit themselves. I mean, hey, it could be worse. It could be worse. Uh, it could be like the Prince's Evangel, Memsi's dad. 
That guy was wild. And I can't even begin to imagine how much grief it caused Maka and Hibiki and I both saw it first. Oh, I, I can. My bad. I can't even begin to imagine how much grief it caused Maka and Hibiki and I both saw it first hand. <laughs> That's why Hibiki doesn't really have good feelings towards Taito-san. But to me, my gratitude to him only grew larger. Oh. Hmm, I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's fair, though. <laughs> Hibiki's cheek is about to puff up again, but they quickly deflate. Thank you, Hibiki. I bow to Hibiki out of gratitude. Hibiki blushes and shakes her head. She then clears her throat. <laughs> okay. There goes Hibiki again, shouting in her dialect. So I rush, so I rush to cover her mouth. Oh, that's hilarious. I wish there was SD art of it. She soon stops fighting and starts giggling, which then turns to laughter. <laughs> Lol. Because they were acquaintances, there was a rift between Ibuki and Paulette, but I hope this mends things between them. Hachiroko seems to have thought that not knowing the whereabouts of 8620 was shameful, but... Oh, right. <laughs> uh, apparently I remembered something. When the debt surfaced, Makarini was already the chief brewer of Migita, of Migita number one brewery. She was the de facto head of the household. All the distant relatives of Migita went to Makarini and told her to dispose of anything related to Taito. Oh, well, dang. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> anything related to Taito, of course, applies to me as well. Wow! Well, I'm, I'm a person that was bullshit. But Makarini, she pushed aside all those demands. Good old big sis. <laughs> Her reactions get me every time. Because she helped me clean up, she came into contact with many of the things. Ibiki then claps her hands loudly. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true, huh? Yeah. Paulette's nervousness is completely gone. She wants to find help by discovering 8620 as a president of Oyotoyo Railway and the mayor of Oyotoyo. Oh, thanks, Paulette and Reina. Now that a direction is set, we just have to move. Taito-san's room now belongs to me. We gotta clean it up. <laughs> cleaning? Spring cleaning? I say that as we enter the room and open the sliding door that goes into the next room. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh. I'll see it. Dang! The fuck, Grampy Pa? <laughs> My room is buried by everything Taito's line had accumulated. Aside from Hachiroku, everything was simply pushed into a room smaller than where it was stored in. <laughs> and this is that result. A pile of books that may bust a hole on the floor from its weight. A mountain of documents and things. Reina is overwhelmed by it all while Polite is completely speechless. <laughs> Are you okay, Polite? Polite squints. 
She carefully looks for the tower. She carefully looks for the tower of stacked books. <laughs> well, that's gaze never focuses on a single point. Without being fixated on the rarity or her personal taste, she continues to look for any clues that may lead to 8620. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you found something already? <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Sometimes I forget his voice. I'm still not used to that. But let's start to look around for something. She stops at one point and stares at it. She mumbles something and then turns to me. She then turns back to that same point. The direction of her glance is... What is that? A photo stand? <laughs> oh, are you too sure to reach? <laughs> she can't reach it. After she gets a step ladder, Paulette definitely climbs up the steps and sits on top of it. <laughs> what? No, no ladder panty CG? What is this bullshit? Come on! Come on! Follow Onigoku's example. What is this? She suppresses her voice as if it was about to crack, and Paulette quietly gathers herself. Oh. Oh, dang. Did you change from calling me San the Coon? If it's her way of expressing that we're a team, all the better. I can feel strength in her voice and gaze. Looks like she's completely in work mode now. I honestly am hopeful, but I'd rather do everything I can, too. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Paulette wasn't tall enough. The freaking rare lords definitely aren't tall enough. Beaky probably isn't either, so you know. <laughs> Literally, I'm probably the only, only one here tall enough, so you know. <laughs> You can't reach it either. I was about to say something. I'm interrupted by Hibiki picking up Hachiroku off the ground. <laughs> I love it. Hachiroku has a gentle, almost motherly look in her eyes. She must think that Hibiki is a child who craves attention. あ、僕は構わん。レイナはどうだ。それでいいか。はい。レイナ、頑張りますよ。ああ。頼もしいな。それは手分けして開始しよう。探すべきは86205。はい。および86に関する記録全般だ。But Biki and Hachiroku. It seemed that they actually make a good team. I mean, yeah, it seemed like they seemed like they were getting along like really well from the start, like since they met. So I'm not surprised. I need to concentrate on my war. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, so I guess I'm okay. So, why is Paulette by herself then? Because I thought she'd be with Raina because Raina's hers, so. We zip our lips and keep our hands and eyes busy. Considering how messy the room is, Tatis must have also been a messy person. There could be memo stuck in between the pages of the books. I start looking for the pages of each and every one of them. We work silently and continuously. As long as we continue, we will most certainly arrive at some sort of conclusion. 
The best case scenario is that it leads us to 8620, which then goes on to become a tourist attraction and rents the construction of the factory. So yes, I'm monologuing. Hello? Not expecting it, I quickly turn around. It's Paulette. She is waving in a huge motion. Uh, uh, okay, please don't fall though. I extend the stepladder to reach higher up. I set it against a shelf and Paulette zooms past me as if she were waiting the whole time. Dang, she was ready. <laughs> I respond to her and Paulette begins to scale the ladder. She climbs to the top in no time. Hey! Hey, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like I said, good job. <laughs> She's quicker than I thought. I hold the ladder to make sure it's sturdy. <laughs> can you say it too, Ibiki? <laughs> oh, everybody can see it. Ibiki and Hachiroku let out a scream but quickly cover the valves. <laughs> I look toward them wondering why, but I find the answer above. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what, what, what about what year? I see. Her underwear is in plain sight. Although I think nothing of it, I'm sure a woman would be ashamed of it. I suppose I should be sorry I saw. <laughs> I suppose I should feel bad about this. <laughs> I avert my eyes to focus only on holding the ladder. While I do this, I realize Hachiroku and Ibiki's true intent. I get it. If they point it out carelessly, Paulette will surely panic and... Uh-huh. <laughs> Raina! Darn it, Raina! <laughs> well, now I gotta catch her. Surprise, she reacts by suddenly turning around. Naturally, her balance goes off. Uh, don't worry, I got you. Paulette falls off the ladder. I lose my grasp and hold up my arms. I got you! Ow! Don't worry, I'm fine. Where did your butt land? <laughs> Had I not expected it, it certainly would have been too close. Paulette's body fits right into my arms. I mean, you're good, you just fell, it's fine. We can follow it. It's okay. <laughs> I only saw a little bit of it. I gently set Paulette's legs on the floor. Like it wasn't even a full CG, it's fine. <laughs> she slowly stands, her face clenching up as if she's about to cry. I mean, I wouldn't say it's anybody's fault, it kind of just happened. The ladder. Since I let go, it's lying on the ground. While it was falling, it must have broken something. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> While saying that, Ibiki stands up and runs off to get a broom and dustpan. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's... Freaking... Shadow glass is no joke, man. It's no joke. Ship hurts like fuck. Hachiroku's hand stops, then she picks up the broken photo stand. Hachiroku! What did I just say? Don't stop! It's no joke! Don't mess with it! Okay, don't look at my baby pictures either, please. But put it away. I have such a I have such a harsh gaze. It's a look made by simmering by simmering distrust, despair, and hatred. Well, dang. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. It's an honor that Taitasan kept a photo of mine, but I wish it weren't this photo. Please, 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 please
Oh, your, your finger is not get cut by it? Huh. Interesting. So she kept holding the stack of files close to her even while she was falling. I see. I'm glad I relied on her. この流れは金の流れでもあるということか。私もそう思って、それで当たってみたらですね。えっと、この年です。Oh, hello. <laughs> I can't read any of that. <laughs> I see. No wonder the brewery is in debt. Paulette points at the abnormal expenditures just for this year. Oh, thank you for reading that for me, Reina. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> she suddenly fidgets. Palette moves her legs and begins to look uncomfortable. Stone storage? What was this? Literally, an engine chain made of stone construction materials. Okay, thanks, Hachiroku. Give me that sass. Literally, it's just an engine chain made of construction. Okay, fuck you too, Hachiroku. It's okay, I still love you. See, even he asked. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I feel... I feel like I just... <laughs> Hachiroku swallows her breath. Her look is serious. はい、石像機関庫は電話で出来た機関庫ですよ。電話とポレット入っちゃダメなところなんです。<笑> It's just a simple confirmation of fact. But Paulette seems generally ashamed of it and looks depressed. Oh, well, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Poor Paulette, man. Like, man, she has so much, she has so much chip she has to go for, dude. Like, what the fuck? She has so much to deal with. I run up to my room and quickly return. Taito <laughs> I like how we randomly just went into our room and came back without explaining that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Macaroni still comes despite her reluctance. Ah, ah, so kohi. Why don't you tag in a moto mote? He's it on you. Tell to son of Mama Haruto tan you. I thought it was a bribe. <laughs> Macar. Though in this one now vastly reduce the operating cost here, Macaroni looks for the keys. Nigita can a moto chigau kagiwa, he does the keta. Hi, Karene socha. Arigato, Macaroni. <laughs> she waves at us while returning to the brewery, but then she turns around. Makuni, with a playful smile, takes out two keys and places them in my hand. <laughs> You're giving the keys to me, right? Okay. <laughs> 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 For me, Gears, freaking blushing. Nice! I got keys to the room. <laughs> Rather it be with Maka and Iribiki, there could be emergencies where they're hurt and can't move in the middle of the night. That's true, yeah. Why do we not have these keys before? <laughs> Since she told me which is which, I'll be sure to make use of these keys. But first, we need the key to the stone storage. We all nod at each other. Simply doing that's reassuring. Oh, yeah, we're going to go find 8620. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, I'm right. It's going to be hype. Yeah, this should be really interesting. Yeah, I guess in a new chapter too. So yeah, that should be really fun. I like the bottom of Hibiki's outfit too. I like anyway, okay, I'm um, distraction. Okay, but yeah, so next time we'll go go find 8620. <laughs> yeah, like I said, that should be really fun and very interesting. Gonna go, go finally go get to meet 8620 officials. So that, that should be, like I said, really need to see how that all plays out. And yeah, I guess uh, we got keys to uh, Big Sis and Little Sis's room now, so yeah, that's, <laughs> that's nice. Drinking a Beaker's reaction, that was hilarious. Yeah, we got a lot more um, information and um, like exposition going on about like the whole Railroad stuff <laughs> and the stone storage and yeah, all that, which is also very interesting to learn about. I'm still, I'm still a little bit salty about that. <laughs> I looked up the stone storage thing, but yeah. I, I, I like, like, I like actually, like, the, um, where is it at? Okay, I won't pick, I can't bring it up right now, but I like the little things, like, how you can actually look up that encyclopedia stuff. I really appreciate that feature. Like, Hello Goodbye had it, too. I still need to upload the rest of that game. <laughs> but yeah, Hello Goodbye had that, too, and I always, like, really appreciate that, because it does help. Yeah, I, I like learning more about trains, like, I, I don't have a problem, like, learning more about trains and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty fun and interesting. So yeah, I'm very curious to see what else is going to happen here, and probably learn more about, um, Taito as well, which, yeah, that should be really, really something to say. So yeah, next time, we're gonna finally help Hachimoku get to meet 8620. Yeah, I can't wait. And now it's time for the question of the day. So yeah, um, I don't really have much right now, unfortunately. I'm running out of questions of the days in all my series, so. Again, if you guys have anything you'd like to ask me, you know, you can let me know in the comments or in the Discord channel, please. I need to foster discussion and I'm running out of ideas, so please help. <laughs> yeah, um, for now, um, what do you guys think about all the different outfits? Like, because I, you know, I like how Hibiki has all the different outfits. I like, I always like when characters get more different outfits and stuff, so. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Do you like when characters get a lot of, like, a huge variety of outfits, or, not, or do you not care? Or just, just general thoughts about that in general, you know? Stuff like that. That's all I got for now. Please help. I'm running out of ideas, guys, and freaking fit all out of Roxy. I'm talking about food all the time, and I'm running out of things here, too. Please, give me some ideas, I beg of you. I beg of you. Yeah, also, <laughs> I love Hibiki's outfits. <laughs> okay, but yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Please help. Thanks. <laughs> Until then, later.